In this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update video, I'm going to be sharing with you some brand new details and screenshots of the upcoming DLC characters. Before we do get into today's news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any news updates about the Skywalker Saga and any future videos about DLC. So yesterday, Warner Bros released the trailer for the second character collection. Six new DLC packs coming to the game, but it was swiftly deleted minutes after it went live. I made a video showing it off to you, but today it was officially released. Some people in the comments of my previous video were saying I faked it, when evidently, if you go to the Xbox YouTube channel, the video is now live. Xbox also shared an article with more details about the DLC packs and even more screenshots. So let's talk about the screenshots first. The screenshot they kicked off with is one of Ben Kenobi in his poncho appearance from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show pack and it's on Tatooine. In the next screenshot, we see Dedra and Cyril Khan from the Andor show pack. Unfortunately, this is on a first order ship, so we aren't getting an Imperial Star Destroyer as a capital ship based on this screenshot. I'm pretty sure if they were going to add that to the game, we'd have gotten it for this screenshot, but no, it's a First Order ship, so that's not very good. We also have a picture of two of the Summer Vacation skins, the Damaged Darth Vader and Palpatine variants. Because we can see this beach version of the Battle Damaged Vader in both the screenshot and the trailer from yesterday, I'd imagine that's the variant we're getting and not the non-battle damage version as seen in the Summer Vacation special on Disney Plus or the actual Lego minifig Lego made for the advent calendar. So that is very odd, unless they've included both versions. For the Rebels fans, we have a new screenshot featuring both Ezra and Kanan on Naboo. You can see in this screenshot that Ezra is wielding a black lightsaber hilt. Here is another picture of the armorer from the Book of Boba Fett pack. She's holding a Beskar Ingot piece. I think this is her idol animation, which is cool to see. There is also another picture of Reva from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show pack, as well as Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett pack as well on Tatooine. So a great selection of new screenshots to give us a little bit of a different look to all of these characters. WB Games have just sent out a press release to me sharing the full list of all of the characters included with these DLC packs. There is a total of 30 characters rather than more than 30, which they originally said. So the Clone Wars pack contains Captain Rex, Darth Maul, yes, a new variant of Darth Maul, Azaj Ventress, Savage Opress, Gar Saxon, then on to the Summer Vacation pack, and we have Obi-Wan Kenobi in the flower shirt, Darth Vader in the beach torso piece, Finn in the flower shirt, Emperor Palpatine in beach wear, and R2-D2 in a holiday sweater. Star Wars Rebels include Sabine Wren, Ezra Bridger, Admiral Thrawn, Kanan, and Hera. Then for the Obi-Wan Kenobi pack, we have Ben Kenobi, Darth Vader, so I'd assume that's going to be a battle damage version, another battle damage variant of Darth Vader, Reaver, the Grand Inquisitor, and the Fifth Brother. The Andor pack includes Cassian Andor, Luthan, Cyril, Dedra Mero, and Bix Kaleen. The Book of Boba Fett pack contains Cad Bane, Chrysanthemum, Cobb Vamp, Pelimoto, and the Armorer. I think some people will be disappointed with the selections of these packs, particularly the Rebels and Clone Wars packs. There is no Chopper, for example. As for release dates, we do get some extra clarification, more so than the trailer that we got yesterday. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, the Clone Wars pack and the Summer Vacation pack will release on November 1st. It's included in the Galactic Edition of the game, which will release on November 1st as well. It's also part of the second Season Pass, titled the Character Collection 2. And if you don't want all of the six packs and you just want a few of them, you can buy them separately as well. So you're able to get both of these packs on November 1st. But the new details is that we have a date for the other four. It is November 15th for the Rebels and Obi-Wan Kenobi packs. Then on November 29th, we'll see the Andor and Book of Boba Fett packs release. This means we'll get the first two packs in about a week's time from now, then two weeks after that, there will be the Rebels and Obi-Wan pack, and then two weeks later, we'll have the final two packs. It's worth noting, if you buy the Galactic Edition, you'll get these character packs included, so you don't have to buy them separately on November 15th. They're also part of the second character collection if you do buy that bundle. And you can also buy them separately. As a reminder, it's far cheaper to buy the character bundle than buying them individually. 
I think the cost of four of them equals the character bundle. So if you're buying four or more, you might as well just buy the bundle. I'd love to hear your thoughts on anything I've discussed in this video. So please let me know down in the comment section below. And remember, if you learned something new from this video and enjoyed it, please do drop a like to help support the channel and subscribe so you don't miss the next news update for the Skywalker Saga. If you did miss any of my previous videos on the game, be sure to click on the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. Goodbye.